not uh, recording on me. What? <laughs> Sorry. Welcome back. Um, what are we, November 28th? And we're heading out to do some ice fishing. This is gonna be hopefully the second ice fish of the year. We went last week and caught a couple, a couple walleye out in Western Manitoba. But we are in the Kenora area today and we're gonna look for some stock trout. Um, so basically the game plan is find safe ice, make a sight hole and catch some trout. I got uh, one of the best fishermen I know with me today. There she is. So uh, yeah, that's the game plan. Um, <clears throat> probably gonna try the first lake that's a bit closer to us and if there's not enough ice I'm gonna go to the second one. The second one's a bit smaller. The first one has rainbows and splake trout. The second one has brookies, rainbows and splake. So they're pretty similar but the first one we're going to more stocked um, or it's been stocked more and we've had more success there so um, stay tuned and enjoy. Stay tuned. Are you tired? Yeah. Well, we made it. We made it. Walked about halfway around the lake. Some people fishing right at the launch and they said there's about two to three inches of ice. So I like coming here because there's a, there's a drop off. That's not too steep. It's kind of gradual and it's all rocky. So we've caught a ton here, open water. Um, so we're gonna get the drill out, walk out every five feet and drill and see how deep we're dealing with. First hole. Oh. Ooh, not bad. For sure three inches. If not more. Should be safe. Should be safe. Though. Are you sure that's safe? About the same here. The thing is with sight hole you only want to be about five kind of five six feet because you want to be able to see the bottom obviously so you don't want to be too deep. The bottom of the lake? Yeah you want to be able to see from the fish swimming at the bottom right? Is that oh. idea? A little bit a little bit less probably about two and a half inches Still safe? Get, yeah, definitely. Gonna get the Vexler, see how deep it is at the bottom, and then decide where we wanna start drilling our sight hole. So we are about five and a half, six feet. So I think this might be the spot. Um, I'm just gonna check on the hole just back here to see like see how much the drops are about three and a half feet so drops off about two and a half feet in depth three feet in depth within about eight yards so yeah right about five feet I think this could be the spot Oh yeah, I can see the rocks. I can see the bottom. It's not quite as rocky as I thought it would be though. Can you actually see the bottom? Yeah, I can see the bottom clear. I think I'd like to see a little bit more rocks than that because it looks like it's just more sandy. Move a bit that way. <gasps> oh. <laughs> My bad. That looks pretty good. Take a look. Oh yeah. Cool. I think this is the spot we're gonna go to. Um, you can see some pretty good contour in the rocks and I think it's probably right around five feet again. It's only about two inches of ice right there so it'll be pretty easy to make a sight hole. It should be around five feet I think again. Well, a little bit less. 
four feet. Hmm. Maybe go about eight yards that way then. Really? I'd like to be right around five feet, I think. I just don't want to be too, too shallow. Now we're like 11 feet. Okay, so that's perfect. So if it's four or five feet there, I'll drill in the middle, but this might be a perfect spot because this might be right where Six feet. So from there to right here, it's about a foot and a half difference. I would say we do it kind of right here, from there to there. Make sense? Where we're about four to six feet, we have a little bit of both sides on that drop off. Sounds That's the plan. good. Even 10 minutes, I would say, without a saw. So, definitely gonna be watery in the tent because it's so warm out today. And I hope we're at the right depth where we can see it. You won't really be able to know until you throw the tent over. But that's that. Time to get fishing. All set up. It actually turned out perfect. As you can see, it drops off like right to left and a bunch of boulders. Pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. It gets a little bit more murky on the left, but you can see perfectly to the bottom right here. So this should be good. So what we got what we got going? Elise has got on a buckshot. White and pink. And I also got on a little buckshot, a little blue and white. So not focusing, but those are the two. Weapons of choice today to start off, and we're gonna see how they do. Keep moving. He's right there. That did not take a lot. He's gonna grab it. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, he hit it. Keep moving. You gotta keep up and down. He's right there. Didn't even set the GoPro up yet. We just had one on nip at our hook within the first 30 seconds, so Literally that's a good sign. I think our your buckshot might be a little bit big. I'll do the tackle. Might go put a little smaller on because they didn't seem to like that big hook, so.
Go on. Go. Nice. Who does he leave? What? Who does I leave the head? Still swimming. <laughs> Finally got ourselves our first splake. Such beautiful colors on these fish. Hmm? Caught it on the little spoon. There he goes. Woo! Number one in the sight hole. Ooh, my hands are cold. That was awesome. Came out of nowhere too. Came right by where you were on the outside of the tent. <laughs> See how many times he swiped at me? Yeah, and he came like just so fast. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Trout number two. Ooh. This guy is slimy. Always important to keep him in the water. It's nice actually. We got this water that sits on top of the, the ice that keeps him good if we want to take some pictures and whatnot. So, um, another splake. A little bit smaller than the last one. Also, came out of nowhere. Tried hitting me a few times. See if he goes on his own. See you, bud. So cool seeing him like that. Two for Jeremy, zero for Elise. Well, only caught the two. I think we're gonna call it a day. Caught both of them on this little brown, I don't even know what kind of spoon it is, a little tiny trout spoon, brown and yellow. But yeah, a little bit disappointing. Only caught the two small ones, saw three of them. Well, he's couldn't catch the, the first one that we had in the first 10 seconds, but that's fishing, right? First of the year, fun making the sight hole. Gorgeous day, no wind. Always remember to put some branches and sticks over your sight hole. Especially this time of year. Don't need people falling through. Drowning. Fishing was mediocre. We only caught two, saw three. Wasn't as good as expected, but we'll probably come back. Ice is still a little bit sketchy in some areas. It was only about three inches. So there's some big ones in here, big ones to be caught. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely need some more ice fishing videos on the way. Can't wait for big lake trout. That opens in a month here in Ontario. So stay tuned for those. And now we're gonna pull this whole thing back to the truck. There we go. Stop.